the training for me was really appealing because of the, the creative aspect and, uh, and this completely new way of exploring uh, birthing. Because it was called Birth Art Cafe, that was intriguing enough like birth art. You know you can use art as a therapy in most things anyway, but in birth, that's what intrigued me more. That's why I look it's, it's just so important, I think, to connect within when you're preparing for birth and motherhood so that you, you're preparing yourself to find the tools for these things, not through anyone else, but from within yourself. And Birth Art Cafe totally allows that to happen and works with that, which is just brilliant. I in the birthing culture there's a tendency to be right around the end of pregnancy and this preparation for birth, but in fact there's so many different parts. There's, there's uh, for some women there's trying to get pregnant, there's the fertility issues, there's these first 12 weeks, there's a, there's a sort of interim period where the, excite, you know, the, the excitement's starting to move into the next phase. And, um, and it, it can work at every single stage and including uh, afterwards and into motherhood. And it's amazing that you link the birth art with whether they're pregnant or just given birth, um, even in labour. It's amazing the way it all unfolds as well. Is that the emphasis that tomorrow puts on it being a personal journey as well. So uh, it's, it's not just a training of a new skill, but especially between the sessions, there's, there's, there's different stuff to do to explore yourself. And especially if, if I'm new to using art to express yourself, it's opened up a whole new area of my life and a whole new uh, part of my brain almost. And it's, it's really enhanced my life. Well, I think it's been amazingly transformative, much more than I thought it would be, because I had a, an, an idea that I was coming to learn something to share with others, and I found that I have been on an amazing transformative journey. Myself. Dropping into that right brain is, is always something that was advised to do at the end, right? Now you just need to forget all that stuff, and, and there was no method for doing it as such. There's no method for training for that. And uh, to find a way to circumnavigate the the idea that you've got structure, that you've got train, but also bringing in that creativity. Is, this, this, this has been a magic combination that they've, that they've made here uh, that uh, Tamara's made. And I've learned so much more about myself in the past three months from doing all the exercises contained in the journal that you do and, and feel like I've really reached a new level of acceptance and, and acceptance of others and myself and feel really much more at peace. And it's amazing birth art picture, well, mother art picture, I suppose, just within this space, we've just been free to, um, to create together as women, and that's just been so exciting, and it's brought up different things for different people, and just the whole process and the end result even is just a beautiful moment in time, and uh, that's been lovely the, to be a part of. The judgment exercise that we do in the homework has really helped me as well because um, I think I, I was very careful not to judge others but didn't realise how not to judge myself and learning not to do that for, for me has been really important. Um, I've been at quite a few births and feel that birth can go in any direction but for myself personally I had quite a fixed idea of what an amazing beautiful birth was and I think that although I can see the benefits of that in the same way, I actually feel <clears throat> much more able to surrender and accept it the way it is and not judge it. Cafe um, was an extraordinary experience of, of uh, facilitating the group, a group of women coming together and uh, and feeling um, and, and feeling like uh, you could sort of hold this space space for them and uh, and. It really, in some ways, it, it kind of ran itself, you know. But, but it sort of brought it together, and then, and then they, uh, then they all just went for it. And I just got to watch this amazing, um, this amazing thing happen. And uh, uh, yeah, so that was that was really special. And everybody went away from um, the session I did uh, really uplifted, and and including myself. And it lasted for a couple of days as well. So that was fantastic. <laughs> the way it all unfolded, and the way they responded. The questioning, the debates they had as well, even the meditation, they were so, you could see them just changing within it, and myself. Just from the two groups I've run as part of the training, the women who have come have really helped to heal each other, and they've really gained acceptance, and, and I think from creating a safe space where you say that 
all feelings are welcome. There isn't anything they have to hide. I think when, um, you know, particularly when people have new babies and they go to mummy and baby groups, everyone does their makeup and, and they're all holding it together and they're all saying, yes, I'm loving it, but they're not, you know, they do love it, but there's no frank discussion about the times when they don't love it. And I really feel that's when growth can really help them clear patterns from their past. The ideas are welcome and, and, it's, and it's growing like a tree. Every, every woman is becoming a new branch and it's coming out into so many different areas, even beyond birth, to, to women. And to, when it realises its full potential, it's going to be, uh, uh, if it ever does, like, it just keeps growing and growing. And I think that, that that's a real vision. Be worldwide. It, re it has to be in court, because I work in the hospital. It needs to be in antenatal classes, it needs to be, then workshops need to be everywhere, available to anyone, and it should be incorporated in all of that, even mums trying to conceive as well. A birth art cafe mentor training is for so many different kinds of people. It, it's for uh, midwives and, and, and health professionals, for alternative practitioners, for, for mothers, and it's, it's a per such a personal journey for, for, for people that um, they can come and just gain that benefit out of it and then see where the journey takes them from there. Um, and I really would recommend it to, to almost everybody. <laughs>